Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to find all 34 field guide pages here in the Bell Tower Wing in Hogwarts Legacy. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So to get your first page, you're gonna head over to the Bell Tower Wing, and we're gonna come down here and take the Bell Tower Courtyard Flu Flame. Now, after this taking this Flu Flame, we wanna face the door away from the Flu Flame. So you guys can see it right here. We're gonna turn around and facing the door leaving Hogwarts on the right side, you guys will see a broken broomstick. Go ahead and cast Revelio right here and you'll get your first page. After grabbing this page, then turn around and you guys will see a flattened armor statue. Go ahead and cast Revelio here and you'll get your second page right here. After grabbing this page, we're then going to turn around again and we're going to head over here to the right side of these stairs and you guys will see three bells. Walk up to the bells, cast Revelio, and this will be your third page. Now, after grabbing this page, we're going to head up the stairs just to the left here. And when we get to the top of the stairs directly in front of us, you guys will see a cat in this uh, this glass thing here. We're gonna use Revelio in front of this cat and you'll get your next page right here. Now, after grabbing the page here at the cat, we're gonna turn around, head back down the stairs and go up the stairs on the opposite side. And once we get up these stairs on the right-hand side here, we'll have another cabinet with some stuff on it. Go ahead and use Revelio here and you'll be able to get your next page. Now for your next page, you're gonna need Confringo and we'll head over to the other side, back up these stairs and to the right. And in the back corner up here, we're gonna have this dragon statue. We can lock onto it, use one of our fire spells. I'm using Confringo and, uh, and you'll be able to get your next page. Now, after getting the page from the dragon statue, we're then gonna turn around and look up. There will be a page that's flying around in this room. I believe it's directly above me right now. You guys can see it's right here. I'll lock onto it, use Accio and pull that next page in. Now, after we grab the page, it's flying around the room. We're gonna go to the opposite stairs again. And it's actually the south stairs if you're confused. So just right of the flu flame. And once we go up these stairs, we're gonna take a left, go up these stairs. And you guys will see this ash that's on the wall right here in front of me. In front of this ash, cast Revelio, and your next page will pop up right here. Now, after grabbing this page, we have a few more pages that are in here, but can only be accessed by completing a side mission. So we'll turn around and head back down the stairs, and we're going to go left, and we're going to go through this door right here. After going through this door, we'll head up the stairs and into the classroom directly in front of us. There will be a quest that's in here that we're going to press X to begin. Now, I'm not sure how deep into the game you need to be to have the history class side quest here. Uh, it shouldn't be too far. I believe it's fairly early on. Uh, but if you don't have this, just play through some of the main missions, work your way through the game, and eventually you'll unlock this. And once doing this quest, I'll show you how to get the next couple pages. Now, after starting this quest, the teacher's going to take you on a little adventure down back to the Bell Tower Courtyard Flu Flame. And once you're in here, he's going to ask you to get two different pages, which I'll show you here in just a second. Now, after he's done speaking with you, he'll ask you to find the Grimbald Weft Field Guide page. To get that, we're just going to head down the stairs and take a right and go into this back corner. It's going to be right here in front of this skull case. So go ahead and use Revelio and you'll get your next page right here. Now, after speaking with him again, after collecting our first page from this quest, we're then going to head up the stairs directly in front of us. And we're going to take a right up these stairs and you guys will see these statues. Our page is going to be located in one of these statues. I believe it's on the left. Yep. It'll be on the far left statue right here, and this will be your second page from the quest. Now, before we continue on with the video, I want to make you guys aware of a glitch that's currently in the game that I've seen all over Reddit and all over Google, where people are having issues with the Bell Tower Wing collecting all your field guide pages. And the reason for that is the history class field guide pages are bugged. For some players, it won't count either of them. For some, it'll only count one. As you guys can see through this video, I've showed you 10 pages and it only shows that I've collected nine. So don't worry, you're still actually able to get the collectible. It still counts in your game. It's just not showing the number in the top right of your screen when you open up the Bell Tower Wing. So that's where the issue is coming from. For those of you that have been trying to figure that out, uh, it's the history class field guide pages. But moving on. Now, after you finish the history class quest, we're going to go back to the classroom. So again, it's on the staircase to the right of the full flame here so we'll head back up the stairs through the doorway in front of us and back up another set of stairs and once entering the classroom if you guys look to your right we're going to have three stained glass here in the middle one we're going to use revelio and you'll get a page to pop up right in front of this stained glass window now after grabbing this page we're going to head right back outside the classroom and we're actually going to head up the stairs directly in front of us and to the right you guys will see that we have another moth frame so go ahead and use lumos here to activate the frame and once doing that, you're going to head back into the classroom and we're going to go through the back door. Now, I believe there's a level one lock on this door, so you'll need Alahomor to get through. But once going through this door, we're going to take a right and on this plant right here, we're going to find our moth. So we can grab our moth, head back through the doorway and run all the way back outside and up the stairs. And once doing so, throw your moth in the frame and you'll be rewarded with your next field guide page. Now, after completing the moth frame, we're gonna head back down the stairs and into the history classroom. 
and we're gonna go back through the door in the back of the classroom. And once going through this door, you guys will see this Sphinx on your right. Go ahead and use Revelio in front of the Sphinx and you'll get your next page right here. Now, after grabbing the Sphinx page, all we're gonna do is look up is we're gonna have a page that's flying around in this room. So go ahead and lock onto it, use Accio, and you'll get your next page right here. Now, our next page, as I'm sure you guys can see, is directly in front of us in the statue in the back left corner. We're gonna walk up to it, lock on, and use Levioso and we'll be rewarded with our next field guide page. Now, after you've grabbed this page, we're gonna turn around and head back outside the classroom. So we'll go through these double doors here, and then we're gonna go back out the front of the classroom. And once you exit the classroom, take a right, and you guys will see two double doors right here. This is gonna lead us into the Transfiguration Courtyard. So we'll go through these two double doors, and once doing so, immediately take a left, and we're gonna take the first door on our left. Now, this will have a level one lock on it, so you'll have to make sure you unlock that. But once doing so, go inside, head up the stairs, and once you get to the top, if you turn around, we're going to have another statue that we can use Levioso on. And once doing so, you'll get your next field guide page. Now to get our next two pages, we're going to head back over to the bell tower wing, and we're going to come down here and take the bell tower courtyard flu flame once again, just to save a little bit of time. And after taking that flu flame, we're going to head up the stairs to the right of the flu flame. So as you guys can see, I'm looking at it. We're going to go right. We're going to head all the way up the stairs. Go as high as you can go. We'll go through this little doorway here if it'll let me through. And once we get to the top, we're going to come across a hallway with another door that leads into the frog choir room. So right here where the frogs are on the stand, if you go ahead and use Revelio, you're going to get a page that pops out right here. So go ahead and pick that one up. Now, after grabbing the page from the frogs, we're going to turn around and go through the door on the right. If we head up, you guys will see this door here. There may be a lock on it, but once going through, you're going to see another door in the back over here. We're gonna work our way to this door. Again, maybe a lock on it, not 100% sure. But after going through here on your left, you'll have another dragon statue where we can use Confringo and you'll be able to get your next page right here. Now for your next couple pages, we wanna head down to the basement. So we're gonna go back to the bell tower wing and we're gonna go back to the bell tower courtyard flu flame. And once again, facing the flu flame, we're gonna take a right and we're gonna head like we're going back toward the history classroom. So we'll go through this door, except this time, instead of going up the stairs, we're gonna go down the stairs. So if you go left, you'll come down here, find another door that we can go through, another flight of stairs, and you'll find this tapestry right here. Now it'll have a giant K. This is actually a door that you can walk through. So walk through this K, and in this room, we're going to have another door in the back. Go through this door in the back, and you guys can see this other K over here. We'll run all the way back here. Use Revelio, and you'll get your next page right here. Now, after grabbing this page, we're going to turn around and head back through both doors that we came through. So this one being our first one head down the hallway and go through our second one. And as soon as you exit the second door, you'll see the staircase. We're gonna go right and then we're gonna take another left. And right over here, you guys will see that we have this little dragon thing. We're gonna cast Revelio in front of the dragons and we'll get our next page. Now, after you grab this page, we're gonna turn around and head down the stairs. And then we'll take a left and head down some more stairs. And once you get to the bottom, you guys will find this giant sleeping dragon. Walk up to it and use Revelio, and you'll get your next page in front of this dragon. Now, after you get the page from the dragon, we're going to turn around and head down this hallway and take our first door on the left. Now, there will be a lock on this door, so if you can't unlock it yet, come back to it at some point later on. But if you can, go inside, and inside on the left, there'll be this giant cannon. Walk up to the cannon, use Revelio, and you'll get your next page right here. Now to get your next couple pages, we're going to head outside the castle. So come over here to the bell tower wing, and we're going to go all the way up to the top and take the beast classroom flu flame. Now after taking this flu flame, we're going to spawn in. We'll turn around looking at the classroom itself, and we're going to have a page that's actually flying around the classroom. So you guys can see it over here. If you can't find it, just use Revelio, and it'll light up blue. But uh, once you catch up to it, it'll just kind of fly in circles around the classroom. It may take you a minute to try to get this thing. Uh, but once you're in range, you can lock on, use Accio, and you'll be able to grab this page for yourself. Now, after you grab the page that's flying around, we're actually going to hop on our broomstick to save us some time. And we're going to fly up here to this giant tower that's on this hill. You guys shouldn't miss it. It's pretty obvious. And to save your time from climbing all the way to the top, what we're going to do is we're going to just fly our way all the, way all the way to the top here. And once we get to the top, we can land in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to climb down this ladder, or if you want, you can try to jump. Not sure if you'll fall to your death, but we're going to climb down the ladder just to be safe. You guys will see we're in a room with a ton of owls. So once you're in here, just use Revelio and you'll be able to get a page at the bottom of this ladder. Now, after you grab this page, we're going to head right back up the ladder and we're going to have a flying page that's flying around the top of this tower. You may have seen it as we flew in. But once you get to the top, just have a look around. You may find it really quick. It's right here flying. We can just lock onto that, use Accio, 
and you'll be able to get your next page. Now, after you grab the page that's flying around the tower, we're gonna have a little look around. You can use Revelio if you need to, but there's a statue up here and it's right here. We're gonna use a Levioso on this and we'll be able to get our next page right here. Now to get your next page, we're gonna head back over to the bell tower wing and we're gonna go all the way to the right and take the Hogwarts North exit, Flu Flame. Now after taking this Flu Flame, you wanna turn around and make sure you're facing the actual castle and we're gonna to go to the right. Now, as you head to the right, you'll see these large double doors. This is leading to the stables. And as soon as you enter the stables, there's gonna be a locked door on your right. Once you unlock this door, you can go inside and right in front of you, just use Revelio and you'll get your next page right here. Now, after you grab this page, we're gonna turn around and head right outside the stables and we're gonna to go to the right and we're actually gonna hop on our broomstick to save time, but we're gonna go all the way to the end of the wall. So follow this wall all the way to the end until you can no longer go any further, which is way out here. And once getting out here, we can actually get off our broomstick and we're gonna go through a couple of doors. So we'll go through this door. You guys will see another door in the back. We're gonna go through this one. And then there's gonna be one more door we're gonna go inside of. And now we are at the very end of the wall. And right here, we're gonna have a jail cell with a bathtub inside of it. Go ahead and use Revelio in front of the bathtub and you'll get your next field guide page in this location. Now, after you grab the page from the bathtub, we're gonna turn right and go through another door and head towards the Quidditch pitch. But we'll head all the way to the end here and you guys will see that it ends. We literally just fall off. What you wanna do is jump down and take a right and right on this side of the wall, just cast Revelio and you guys will see your next page will pop up right here. You can use Revelio right in front of it and you'll be able to get your next one. Age. Now to get our next couple pages, we're going to head back over to the bell tower wing and come out here and take the Hogwarts North exit once again. And once taking that flu flame, we're going to turn around and instead of going right this time, we're going to go left. Now, as soon as you take a left, if you look up on top of the side of the wall, you guys will see we have another little statue thing hanging down. We can lock onto that. And once you do, you can use Confringo. So use Confringo, it'll pop out the field guide page and then you can lock onto that and use Accio and pull it in for yourself. Now, after you grab that page, we're then gonna head up the stairs that are right in front of us. And when we get to the top of the stairs, we're gonna turn around and go back toward the flu flame. So we'll go back this direction. We're gonna have a door. We'll go inside this door, go to the back, take a left and go through another door and head up some stairs. Once again, going through another door that's got a lock on it. So make sure that you can get through this lock. And to be honest, guys, all of these doors may have locks. I'm not 100% sure, but at least one of them will. But once this door opens up, we're then going to go inside. And you guys will see we have another statue directly in front of us. We'll lock onto it, use Levioso, and we'll be able to get our next field guide page. Now to get your next page, we're going to take the Hogwarts North Exit Flu Flame once again, or you can risk jumping down from the top if you like. But once taking that Flu Flame, turn around and again, take a left. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into these double doors right here in front of us, to which we're gonna find a carriage. Now we're gonna go through the door behind the carriage, which is gonna have a level one lock on it. So once unlocking that, you can go inside. And once entering, take a right, you guys will see we have another moth frame. So make sure that you use Lumos to activate the moth. And once doing so, we're gonna go back outside. Once you go through the double doors, we're then gonna take a left and go backwards. You guys will see our stairs here. We're gonna go past the stairs. And on the back side over here, right where this wall starts, our moth is gonna be on the back of this wall. You guys can see it standing there. So we'll walk up to it with Lumos, grab it, and we'll head back to where we just were. We'll come over here back to this room. Do these doors open? They do. And then we can go back into this room. And then all you gotta do is throw your moth into the frame and you will once again get another field guide page. Now, after you finish the moth frame, we're gonna turn around and go back outside. So go back through this door, go back through the double doors, and we're gonna go back to where we got the moth. So if we head back to this back corner, you guys will see we kind of have a little section that we can run on. We're gonna jump the wall here, and we're gonna run down to this door. Now, once you go through this door, as soon as it opens, go ahead and use Revelio, and your field guide page will pop up right in front of you. Now, after grabbing this page, we're gonna go through the door in the back, and we're actually just gonna jump the wall here. And you guys can see that down here, we have a fountain, as well as a bush dragon that's pretty dope. But we're gonna go back here to this fountain, and as you get toward the fountain, you guys will start to see our floating page. So we're just gonna lock onto that, use Accio, and you'll be able to get your next page right here. Now, after grabbing the fountain page, we're on to our last field guide page. So we're actually gonna go through this little doorway that's in the wall here behind the fountain. And once doing so, you're gonna take an immediate left and you'll see these beehive looking things. Go ahead and use Revelio in front of these beehives 
and you'll be able to get your last field guide page. But this is how to get all 34 field guide pages here in the Bell Tower Wing and Hogwarts Legacy. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.